Hello YouTube land people. Today I'm going to talk about foreskin. You know, that very sensitive part of a man's body. To me, the foreskin is the most beautiful part of the penis. It protects the head, the gland that is, from corrosive action against harsh chemicals, uh, bleaches, fabrics that they wear. And the foreskin, like I said, it, it keeps the, um, the gland from erosion and it keeps it moist and sensitive. Um, some guys have loose foreskin, so theirs may not be so protected, but if you have a loose foreskin, then what you can do is pull it over your head and tie a string there so you can keep it, the gland covered. And, you know, of course, in, until you go to the bathroom, then you want to untie it and then tie it back. Um, to me, the protected gland is the most beautiful, the foreskin and the protected gland is the most beautiful part of the male body and if you're unfortunate and you don't have any then what you can do is you can gradually grow your foreskin by gently keeping your skin pulled forward over your head or um, to with tape and what you can do is you won't gain back everything you've lost but what you can gain is your sensitivity and the gland that is the head will become more sensitive and more uh, colorful you know sometimes um, purple or pink and it'll become more shinier and just more real more natural so yeah that's how I feel about the foreskin and I think society is, or American society is like really screwed up in the head to think that it's bad or dirty. Um, the other thing is that people don't understand is that smegma is not dirty, it's actually clean. There's been research done, some research done, and it's actually, it actually has antibacterial properties. However, if you have a, a tight foreskin, then most likely you won't be um, shedding so much um, skin it'll just be moist and when you urinate um, the, the skin cells that are shedding will just go out with your urine and um, that's that's how babies are that's why babies don't don't um, you know newborns they don't get that because it's very tight um, and then of course when it loosens then the head will be will get a little bit of um, like um, you know more shedding because it'll rub and then the skin will shed and that's what causes the, the what they call smegma and it's not dirty again like I said and if you have a really really clean diet it's going to be even cleaner it'll have no odor whatsoever I should know uh, I've been vegan and um, when, when my foreskin gets smegma it doesn't even smell it's just really clean just like snow you know when you go out in the freshly fallen snow. It's just really pure and clean. So yeah, I guess that's all. So take care.